Hey guys, welcome on into today's video where I'm going to be showing you how you go through the initial setup process for your TCL Roku TV. I made a recording here and I'm just going to be voicing over and explaining the step-by-step -step process. So make sure you get some AAA batteries in the back of your Roku remote and then also of course plug your television in and this is going to be the first screen that pops up. After this, it's going to go to the Let's Started page. You click your language, you click your country of origin and then you're going to set this up for home use. So you click on that and then the next thing you're going to want to do is set up your internet connection whether that be a wireless connection or a wired ethernet connection most of you are probably going to do a wireless connection so go ahead and click set up a network connection it's going to search for your router you go ahead and click on your router type in your router's password and then after you go ahead and type in your specific password you can click connect and then it should go through and as long as you have your password correctly typed in to your wireless router it should all be check marks there and then it's going to say that there's update content available so you're gonna to have to update your roku television so it's going to go through this updating process and i'm going to skip ahead here to the end of this updating process and then after that it's going to go through its restart phase and reboot after it installs this particular update all right, so now the system is going into that restart mode. And again, we're going to skip ahead here a little bit further, and it's going to take you to the activation page. So make sure you go fire up your computer or your phone and go to roku.com slash link. If you don't have a Roku account, it's going to be the area where you're going to be able to do that. But if you already have a Roku account, you just log into that. And then also be sure to type in your specific code. But then after you go through this particular activation on roku.com slash link, it's going to go ahead and install all the channels that you had on your previous Roku account. So since I already had a previous Roku account, you can see it has 59 channels for me to install. These are all channels that I had on my prior Roku player. But if you just made your account for the first time, it's going to go through this process much quicker. You're not going to have as many channels already installed. So then after it goes through and installs all those channels, you're going to connect your devices. These are going to be things like video game systems, cable boxes, um, you could have a DVD player, all of these sorts of different systems. So make sure they're all plugged in, powered on, and connected into the back of the television, whether that be through the AVI cable or the HDMI cables. Usually it's going to be the HDMI ports. So then at that point, once everything is plugged in and turned on, you're going to click that option here on the screen. And I just have my Xbox plugged in, so that's going to be an HDMI one. And I'm going to go down and find the Xbox option. You can see it's already booting up there in that little side screen. So I'm going to select Xbox. And then my other HDMIs currently don't have anything plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and click nothing for both of those options. I also don't have anything plugged into the AV slot. So then we're all done hooking up our respective devices to our Roku player. So now it's going to go through this Roku TV intro. I recommend you pause the video and watch through this little short clip that's going to show you how to use different features on your remote and then at this point I'm going to skip ahead in the video to when we're on the home page and wrap up this tutorial with some things over on the home page so now we're back here and you can see there's our Xbox and all of our channels that have installed here on our home page you can move your channel around by clicking the little star icon on your remote to get everything in the exact order that you want it to on your home page you can go down and click on the search function so you can look for content based on an actor's name, a TV show, a movie, or if you're looking for a specific streaming channel, you can also look for it in this area. But you're also going to want to check out the streaming channels options. And I definitely recommend going through and looking at all this different content, specifically when you get down to the most popular and the top free options. Those are going to be where you really have a lot of great content. The most popular, of course, being ones that people use more often than the top free ones being that really solid free content that you can get access to. And then below that, they've also laid things out into these different categories where you can look through and check all that stuff out as well. So at this point, we're going to go through and you can see here in the settings options on the home page, you can go through and change your network settings and you can see all these different options here in the settings page. You can change your theme, your screensaver. You can change how the TV picture looks. Um, you can also do system updates and system reset there at the bottom. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. Heading on back to the home screen here to wrap up this video. But thanks for stopping on in. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can throw those down in the comment section. Bye.